Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for this video. Today we're going to be talking about our next step in the process and that is core aeration. So core aeration is actually physically taking cores of soil out of your lawn and placing them up on top of the surface and most of the time we're going to let these break down naturally. So why is core aeration going to be beneficial for what we're doing in this process? Number one, it's beneficial for anyone, even if you're not doing a renovation, to kind of relieve some compaction in your yard. That will be the first thing that you can do with core aeration, but for our process, we're also going to be opening up some holes in the yard so that air, fertilizer, and water can better reach our root zone. Not only of the grass that we have in place already so that we can strengthen that, but these holes are actually going to help us with our renovation process because some seeds will get down in there. That will allow some seed to soil contact there and allow them to grow. Also some seed will hit the cores that are up on top of the grass and we'll stick to those and we'll germinate that way and as the cores break down we'll have some grass growing out of there as well. This process just helps us a little bit to open up the soil again just as much as possible. With that dethatching that I did in the last video, that allowed us to take a lot of junk out of the yard. That created a pretty good open soil there as well. But this process is just going to help us go one step farther and make sure that we accomplish our goals of getting as much new seed into this lawn as possible. So to complete this process, you could have someone hired to come in and do this for you. If you're not up for the labor, that's really a good option. It is a very labor-intensive process. But one thing you'd want to mention to them is see if they can make multiple passes on your yard. You might have to pay them a little bit extra to do this, but you're going to want to make multiple passes if possible just to create as many holes as we can to get that seed down in there. Now if you are going to complete this on your own, I rented an aerator from Home Depot and that's an option. You can find many rental places that will rent aerators. If you do this option for a yard like my size, it's a good idea to have a friend help out if possible. One of my friends was gracious enough to help me. It was a very hot day and just the size of my yard to get everything done. It does take quite a bit of labor to do that and especially if you're like me and you're not doing this on a daily basis, it's kind of a process that uses a few muscles that you haven't used in a while. So keep that in mind. You can either hire someone or rent something and do it on your own. When you do it on your own, you have your option of really just taking your time and putting as many holes in there as you want to going in different directions. With my yard I just kind of go in multiple directions until I feel like I've pulled out enough cores and I'm looking down at the yard and I'm seeing a lot of holes opened up. So you can kind of go as far as you want to go there and that's up to you exactly how many holes you want to put in the yard. Just run this machine around. Some of them are able to turn without picking up the tines. Uh, other ones are not. So you just kind of want to talk to the people that you rent from to get their recommendations on that specific machine. But essentially you just run it around the yard, again making multiple passes if possible. And that's going to move us to our next step which will be putting down the seed and fixing some of these spots that I created by killing off some of that tall fescue. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.